Well, I know you guys expected me to have a review out for Starfield. Unfortunately, I gotta disappoint you. See, mama didn't raise me to spend a hundred plus bucks on a game so that I can play it before the release date, which is really just Microsoft's way of saying, day one on Game Pass is irrelevant. We'll just change the definition of day one. But you know what did just come to Game Pass on its actual launch date? Sea of Stars. From Sabotage Studio, Sea of Stars is a 16-bit inspired JRPG-esque title with the classic turn-based combat. You can play as either Valerie or Zale, those are the ways I'm pronouncing the names. Young warriors sent off on a quest after doing some menial training. And by training, I mean they go to a school of only two students and learn to sew. Of course, they have to do push-ups, sit-ups, and climb. But the primary gameplay mechanic in Sea of Stars is spamming A to speed through dialogue boxes. I haven't seen so many dialogue boxes since Corpse Party, and neither has any RPG started this slow. I expected to be getting into some kind of fight tutorial within five minutes, not 90 minutes in. Just lecturing nonsense that never ends with Valerie and Zale eventually getting put in a training bot dungeon, where finally you get to experience the active fighting mechanics in that you have to kind of QTE everything, hit A when you're about to strike to strike twice, hit A when the opponent's about to strike so you can block. Now granted, I did walk away from Sea of Stars before I could unlock a single achievement. And I don't think that I can be blamed for that. The visuals have a lot of attention to detail. The music is reminiscent of something you would find on the SNES. But games like Final Fantasy 3, 6, had players reading dialogue boxes because they didn't have the technology to implement voice acting. Now we can put voice acting anywhere, and yet we choose not to because we gotta make things seem retro for budget reasons. Because hey, that's indie gaming. Who needs voice actors when localization can just be translations? Now, Sabotage Studio previously did The Messenger, which I enjoyed, and that was a game that got your hands dirty quick, with a compelling story and sense of humor to boot. Sadly, Sea of Stars is the polar opposite. Dole is all crap, boring, and lifeless. But you know what? I guarantee you that today's gamer is not going to be able to look past the visuals. Oh hey, it's a throwback Super Nintendo style RPG. Shut up and take my $35. I give Sea of Stars a 6.0 out of 10. Hey, it's Vaughn's mom again, so I just wanted to remind you that instead of buying Vaughn's weird pictures online in various states of undress, you can just bookmark his Amazon affiliate link and then when you shop throw it on Amazon, he gets a few pennies here and there.